So I'm up early scanning the interweb for another giveaway for you guys. I punch in four-wheeler, I'm doing some searching, and I find this old girl. A 1999 Yamaha Grizzly 600, and I'm freaking sold. And remember, to enter in this giveaway, you need to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and comment down below! And you're entered in. <laughs> That's perfect. We are here. There she is. Woo, looking good from here. Hey, how you doing? How long you had it for? Um, I think this is going on the third year. Yeah, okay. Um, definitely a workhorse. Yeah. Um, but I've had a lot of carb issues with it. Oh, okay. Adjusting that. You got the stock carb in it? I have no idea. Um, and then there's also a carb that came with it. Yeah. So maybe the previous owner had some carb Maybe. Issues. He never told me. Yeah, so. okay. Alright. These are all the side plates. When you, uh, so you had a few years, in the first couple of years run good, or is it, you always kind of had some issues with it? Always kind of had issues with really? it. Yeah. 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 Would it ever run, kind of just put out, or? So, last year, um, when it finally quit last fall, um, it was running fine. Um, we usually used it to, to move horse manure. Yeah. Um, and, uh, I went to park it for the night and it just quit. Huh. I went and wouldn't start the next day. So it was running fine and huh. I don't know what happened. I had got it gotten it back from a guy who had done some carb work on it for me. Yeah. Um, every time something was wrong with it and we didn't have time to work on it, I sent it to him and he's a really good mechanic, so yeah. um, he put a new he filter it on it and okay. I cleaned it. Um, the gas tank last year was completely um, flushed, flushed. Yeah. so yeah, yes. and we've always run high test in it yeah. since no. I've owned it. Non-ethanol. Yeah, yeah. Non-ethanol, um, and we use sea foam, okay. um, but other than that, hmm. yeah. Does it uh, you go through oil pretty Quick. No, honestly, I have not added any oil since I got the oil change last year. That's one thing. I brought a compression tester. If you don't mind, if I check the compression on it, but yeah, yeah these things are usually a. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it myself. He can do it. <laughs> yeah, it'll rip your arm right off. Is the battery it's got juice on it? Oh yeah. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I just like to hear it turn over at least. Okay. Turn it over. That's what it does. Yeah. It won't start. Huh. Um, Interesting. Like I said, uh, the guy who had worked on it for me um, came back. I didn't bring it to him. He came back and just looked at it really quick. Yeah. He took the spark plug out and looked at it because he had just put in a new one. Yeah. Um, and the only thing that we can think is maybe it's the coil. Yeah, yeah. But it was weird, it was running when I shut it off. Yeah. And the next morning it, it wouldn't work. work hmm. so. Yeah, let me see if I can get my, yeah, I don't know, it's pretty deep in there. I don't know if I can get my compression tester on it, but let me give that a shot. Ooh, yeah, I don't know if I can get down in there. That's a bear. Yeah. I feel like, yeah, you probably got to take the top plastic off. Let's do it. Um, did the winch work when you guys? No. no. It didn't? Okay. No. We never got around to mess with it. Yeah. We have another four-wheeler, a Honda, that we use, so. Yeah. All right. Well. Last engaged. year, some um, gas must have splashed up in it, so the full and empty lines, oh, like, yep. disappeared. Yeah. Which was kind of weird. Um, mm. And then I put a new air filter in it. Um, New air box, box and yeah. then the um, change oil and mm. how the oil it. look? The oil look pretty good. Is it? Yeah. yeah. Is the battery from this year? Or has it been out for a bit? No, no we, we always bring them in at night. Yeah. Or okay. at night, yeah. In the morning. Yeah. Okay. And then are all the plastics with it? Those are all the pieces. There's just the two that are on the side there. Yep. There's I think a couple that go on this side and one on this side. Yeah. 
We didn't have any strange noises from the engine when it was running. And it's out of Yeah? Okay. Tons of power. You're yeah. looking to get rid of it just because it's been a, kind of a headache for you? Yes. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yep. And we have another machine, so it really doesn't make sense to just have it sitting right. around and then always have to send it off to someone to try to fix it. So. Right. We don't have a garage here, so it's always working out in the yard, I feel and it's you. raining every other day. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so I wanted to trade a sled for this, and I'm like, yeah, I don't need another headache. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just looking to get rid of it and get rid of my headaches. I see, uh, so it must be somebody who was playing with the jets a little bit, trying to I, change I the jetting, know. maybe? We, we didn't even look at that, yeah. so. Okay, so we took a jet to but... Yeah, all right. Well, you said you'd take 400 for it? Yeah. Okay, all right. Let's do it. I'll get it back and see if I can get it officially running well. Okay. But, Sounds all right. good. Yeah, I'll get some money. If, uh, can we do like a bill of sale real quick, too? Yeah, I can write something up. Put it in my hand. Okay. <laughs> 20, 40, 60, 100, 100. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, thank Pleasure you. Pleasure doing business with you. Yeah, hopefully you can get it running. I hope so. I've had pretty good luck, so. All right, so now we just bought a, is this a 99? Uh, 98. A 98 Grizzly 600. And it's actually in really good shape, too. A lot of times you'll see they'll be sun faded and the plastics will be broken, but this yeah. one is, is good shape. We'll get this stuff thrown in the truck and we'll load her up. Yeah, I'm excited. This will be my uh, second Grizzly I've had. I had a 660 before this. Oh, yeah. Boom. New seat cover by the Lux. Yeah. Yeah. And the neutral seat. How oh, the brakes. Hey. If you, uh, you want to pat down. There we go. Load her up. Yeah. 99. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, real good. Perfect. All right. Yep. Excellent. I do have a little bit of garage space I can get this in, so I shouldn't be buying more toys, but here I am. <laughs> Appreciate it. Yeah. Thank, thank you very you much. much. Nice meeting you. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I'm excited for this. This is a real nice machine. When these things are running tip top, they are powerhouses, and I cannot wait. My 660, man, I love that thing. Should have never gotten rid of it. I want to see what you guys think is wrong with this thing down in the comments right now. Before you skip ahead on this video, I want to see what you think. For safety. You think I'll be able to get it running, Chris? Oh yeah, you got skills, man. I feel like it's a fuel issue. Something with the carburetors, because there's two of them, and there's some jets in there, and it was brought to a shop before, there's something wrong with the carburetor. So fuel delivery issue somewhere. So most likely I'll start with that, see if there's any weird things going on with that. And from there, I'll keep diagnosing, I guess, but should check spark too. Let's roll. I think we're gonna get it running tip top. We're gonna give it away to one of you. As long as you subscribe, like, and comment. 60% of the time. Look at that, friends. Man, that is a beautiful sight to see a four-wheeler back in the garage. And I am so happy with this thing so far. I'm just, I'm kind of obsessed with it, honestly. It's gonna be hard to let this one go, but I guess we're gonna have to. First, we gotta make sure she's a, she's a ripper, she's a runner. Now, when I was there, I did try to just gently pull this over. I wasn't trying to start it, but man, you can tell, oh, this thing's got so much compression. I'm literally pulling the whole thing backwards. Obviously, we're taking a risk, not knowing if the engine's good, but with that much compression coming from the pull start, and the fact that it pulls over and uh, or turns over with the battery and sounds fine, 
I think we got a good motor. I think step one is gonna be check the spark. We're gonna make sure it's, uh, it has spark. And then if it does, it's obviously a fuel issue at that point. The fact that it's been in the shop before, they said they brought it to somebody who really knows engines, small engines, and uh, they got it running, but never quite right. So I think we're up for a major challenge here to get this 99 Grizzly 600 running again. But if anybody's up for the challenge, it's us, me and you. Only 2,300 miles on this thing. I think we got a good deal on this thing. You let me know down in the comments what you think. And uh, stay tuned for fixing this video. I'm going to start working on it tomorrow probably. We'll upload that video soon. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment to enter in to win this bad boy right here. And thank you for watching. Bye.